All right, fellas. So I think we're pretty ready to take on the champion. As I actually just realized I'm standing on top of a Roselia. I, how did I never notice that before? Anyway, I did actually change up my look a little bit. Um, we took off the hat. And uh, we changed up a little bit. But we should be good to go here. And let us see. So we're just supposed to make our way to the stadium for the final match of the Champion Cup. Now that I think about it, actually, I only have Hyper Potions. Um, kind of expecting Leon to be pretty high leveled. I have one full restore. You know what? Let's go see. Can I buy full restores yet? I, I think I should be able to, right? We're going to hop on the old bicycle. Um, we could actually just take in the, the Corviknight dude to the stadium. But before we do that, we need to make sure we're definitely ready for this because... I was over leveled last episode, but I mean, who knows how we're going to be this time, and I want to make sure that we're prepared. So, we head into the Poke Center. What's happening, buddy? We are going to buy some stuff. You ha you do have full restores. So, we're definitely going to need to get ourselves a grip of these. I'm just going to get like 20, because I'm sure we'll need them eventually at some point. Anyway, $60,000, that's nothing to you, boy. We rich as hell. I did actually sell a bunch of uh, valuable items not too long ago as well. But, now we're officially ready. And I'm super excited to see how this goes. It's been kind of a lot of build-up. We, we were about to battle this guy, and then a whole bunch of shenanigans happened. And I was like, what, what the hell? But, it's the last episode. It was an interesting one. But this one should be even better. We're going to head on up the stairs. And, hey, look at There's people cheering us on. Everybody's, everybody's pretty stoked about us. Strong and noble. Hayden is the best. All right. So, into the stadium we go. What's up, buddy? This is the final match against the champion. The championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I sure am. Sure am. I'm ready to beat him, too. Confidence is key, boys. Confidence is key. All right. So, there's the champion logo. Let's just run onto the field here. This is hype. So, it seems pretty quiet. We got a little bit of crowd noise as Leon comes out on the other end. Looking swagged out as per usual. He's got his freaking cape on. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Silence, I like it. My matches are always sold out, but this. I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Caden. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed for a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Yo, okay. Shots fired. Now that I, I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, I'm crushing you into the dirt. will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Damn. This guy is not holding back. Come on, Hayden, let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. Hot damn, we're gonna have an absolutely champion time. So I like how he's kind of, uh, he's still, still got that confidence. So, let's get this money, boys. We'll go ahead and walk to the other end. We are ready to, ooh, he's stretching out the arm. This guy's like ready to actually fight me. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's literally about to fight me. So, the final battle against the champion. Oh shit, he's getting rid of the cape. It is serious. He leads off with an Aegislash. So I have no idea what this guy has in terms of a team, other than we know he has that Charizard, which we're expecting that to be Gigantamax. So, uh, it's pretty fitting he has an Aegislash. With the old Sword and Shield Mon. And, alright. Oh, it's level 62. Hot damn. Alright, well. Um... We can hit this thing for super super effective damage with Sucker Punch. I don't know if it's going to want to... Um, I just don't know if it's going to try to set up here. We're going to switch out. I don't think Dexter's the best thing to have out here. So I'm just going to go for a U-turn. We'll be able to at least get a little bit of damage off here. It's going to, you know, not much. But it's better than just hard switching out. So uh, we really don't have much for Aegislash. Um, man. Kind of just have to go into Nugget, to be honest. I mean, this thing can hit us for... It can hit us pretty hard, I'm assuming. But we do have the chance to get get it with the Flame Body, which would be nice if it does go for a Sacred Sword or whatever these things do. Let's go into Nugget here. Um, I think it'll probably be a two-hit KO for us. We'll see what this thing wants to go for. So he is going to Stance Change, obviously. Bust out the old Blade. I honestly really love this Pokemon. It's super cool. It's going to hit us with a Shadow Ball. So I was not spec expecting a Special Attack. We should still take this... Kind of nicely. Ooh, okay. A lot of damage. Nugget, this is not the time to be thinking about camping. Alright, so we don't really want to go for Heat Crash. Because that is a move based on weight. And I, don't, I think this thing's pretty damn heavy being a Steel type. We're just going to go right for a Flame Charge here. And let's see. Uh oh, can I take a Sacred Sword? Please, Lord. 
Oh yeah, Nuggets eating that up, boys. Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. You're just like your brother, he says the same shit. Well, so we go for the flame charge. It does not quite do enough. Super effective hit. Expect nothing less from your team. Oh my god, he's seriously the same as Hop. Uh, so we get the speed boost there. I don't think that's going to be enough to outspeed it. It might. May, um, we're going to go for a full restore here. We can't go for a hyper potion because that's not going to put us back to full. Um, we saw how much damage the Sacred Sword does. Really would have been nice to get a flame body there. This actually might be a pretty damn tough battle. I was not expecting this. Okay, well. Goes for another Sacred Sword. And, alright, so we can take at least one more of those, which is great. Might even be able to outspeed here. He's going to change back into defense form. Are you about to king shield me? This man is about to king shield me. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Nice play, Leon. Nice play. I appreciate that. So the flame charge is not going to hit it. And also that is going to drop our physical attack. But we still do have enough damage with this flame charge to be able to knock it out. And we are actually faster after that speed boost. So that is going to be a dead... Oh, nope. Just kidding. I thought that was going to be able to kill it. Holy shit. It lived because it uh, because defensive mode. Well, damn it. Changes back into blade form here. It's going to hit us with a sacred sword. And do you full restore, sir? I really don't know if this thing wants to... Is, is he going to do it? I have no idea. Do I just go for the flame charge? Should I heal up? I mean, he's the champion, right? This guy's going to bust out a full restore. I know it. And we're going to go for a full restore of our own. Man, this is going to be quite... Quite the battle. I should have even grinded up a little bit extra. Holy shit. Well, we can go for the full restore here ourselves. And he is going to actually just go for a sacred sword. Okay. So. We do actually get the flame body. Yes. That is what you get for touching me. I feel bad about using all these full restores. But honestly, I didn't know if he was going to have level 62. Sweet Jesus. Alright. Down goes that thing. One down. So that was a little bit difficult. Probably more difficult than it should have been. Next is a Haxorus. Oh, shit. Okay. We definitely want to switch out because our attack has been dropped. Um, for Haxorus, we could try to go into Nelson. Nelson's probably our best bet. I don't know what this thing's going to have for us. Haxorus, huh? That's badass. All right. We have not seen a Haxorus yet, yet, so this should be interesting. There's one thing I know about Haxorus. It's you do not want this thing to set up on you. It could be bad news. Also, ooh, it's level 63. Oh, shit. Well, do I go for a Blizzard and try to just get some great damage? Do I Or do I Aurora Beam? I kind of wanted to start setting up Quiver Dances at some point, but, bro, this is actually... This is actually kind of scary. I'm, I'm just going to click Blizzard and hope for the best here. It might be a terrible idea. Um, it is actually able to go first. It goes for an Outrage. And that's just gonna that's just gonna flat out kill Nelson. Damn, we have we do not have enough defense for this thing. Yo, we are gonna struggle <laughs> against this against this damn thing. Well, the good news about him going for the outrage is that this allows us to freely bring in Dumbo. Um, I think I want to revive. Is it worth reviving Nelson? I worked so hard getting that thing evolved. We have to make it do something. Do I have any max revives? I do have some max revives. We're going to max revive Nelson here as this thing's locked into Outrage. And, uh, yeah, Nelson, definitely not taking a level 63 Outrage from a Haxorus. Sorry about that. But Dumbo can take it kind of nicely. Sweet Jesus. Well, now we can just go for a Play Rough here. Um, so he is locked into Outrage for one more turn here, luckily. Yeah, let's see how much this Play Rough does. We can actually take one more, but this thing it's likely that this thing probably has Earthquake or something. Man, they really made Leon OP. Play rough almost knocks it out, just not quite. Which is sad. Um, no idea what this thing really wants to do. A normal Haxorus would Earthquake in this scenario. Um, but we really don't have much. We're just going to stay in here and go for another play rough and kind of just see. Please hit yourself in confusion, actually. That would be greatly helpful. Nope. It breaks through. Does go for the Earthquake. And damn it, bruh. This, this Haxorus is a threat. So Dumbo, at least we were able to get some solid, da solid damage off on that thing. Um, but now we have to bring in... We could just go into Chiding in first impression. I really thought he would be using full restores, but I guess that would kind of make him like too OP, to be honest. But all right, Chiding. Time to just go ahead and get off a first impression, um, which should still kill this thing, right? Farfetch'd is a unit. Yep, it's gonna knock out the Haxers. All right. 
So Haxer is down. Two huge threats out of the way. There's no wonder this guy is freaking undefeated, sweet Jesus. So now we're going levels which we actually very much need. Next is a Rhyperior. Man. Okay, we have Dexter for that thing. Rhyperior is scary as hell too. Um, but luckily, we have a water move, so we should be good with that. In comes the skinny ass lizard against basically Colossal's long lost cousin. All right, level 64 Rhyperior. This thing is a beast. We are just gonna go for a snipe shot and see. Are you gonna be focus sashed? Cause that would be insane. I love the animation for snipe shot as well. All right, that's actually just gonna knock this thing out four times weak to, wa to water. All right, Rhyperior, you should have something to take care of that in one hit. So that's kind of a gimme. Next is a Dragapult. Oh my lord, he's got a Dragapult too. Okay, um, we're gonna try Nelson again, <laughs> but it's probably not gonna work too well. This Dragapult's actually just gonna be fast as shit and just be able to probably knock us out. But is there any reason to save Nelson if we don't even try him now? We're gonna, we're gonna at least give it a try. If we just die to one hit, that's fine. This thing could probably kill us with like a Shadow Ball, to be honest. I don't. Nelson, um. We're too frail. I really should have grinded this thing out. Alright, so level 62 Dragapults. We have not actually seen a Dragapult yet. I love this thing though. Super cool Pokemon. We are just gonna go for a Blizzard and please connect. We could actually Dynamax, but I do definitely want to save it. Oh my god, he's got a Flamethrower. Well, that's... Yeah, we're four times weak to that. Nelson, you have failed me, Nelson. <laughs> yeah, I did not even take into account that thing having Flamethrower. Well, I suppose we could... Hmm, what do we what do we do for this thing? I really wish Dexter had a nice move. I could bring in Nugget, but we definitely we have to just heal that thing up. Man, this is This is not very good. Not very good at all. Um Dexter has the sucker punch, which in two hits should be able to knock this thing out. Let's 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 go for that. I do know that we want to try to save Dexter as much as possible just because of that Charizard is gonna be annoying as hell. But a couple sucker punches I think should be able to knock this thing out. So let's go for one here and hope that he attacks. Yes, he does. I don't think Dragapult gets much in terms of uh, boosting moves, but it actually does less than half. And it's got Thunderbolts! Oh my god! Your boy is struggling out here. Holy shit. Okay. This is not good. This next Sucker Punch does not kill, I repeat. This next Sucker Punch does not kill. Also, Barney has nothing to hit this thing with. But if I could bring this thing in, nuzzle it, get it paralyzed, then I can bring in... Dexter should be able to kill with the next Sucker Punch, although that nuzzle is just going to do nothing. Oh man, this is not, this is no bueno. Not very bueno at all. All right, we're bringing in Barney. We're really kind of backed into a corner here. I need to go for, I need to start getting up some max revives. Um, hopefully he just Thunderbolts again. Yeah, so we predict correctly, the Thunderbolt does happen. So Barney is essentially able to come in for free, but we just have nothing to hit this thing with. So. Nelson being fainted, I don't think it's worth healing that thing up. We know it has Flamethrower for Dumbo. So I think our best bet is to probably just Hyper Potion on, or I mean, Full Restore on our buddy Dexter here. It's looking like Dexter's gonna have to carry us. So it seems like this thing's probably just gonna be able to knock us out here. Just goes for the Shadow Ball. Dragapult is way too big of a threat. It has great move coverage. And this thing just hits so hard. Doesn't get a special defense drop on us, which is extremely annoying. But, it doesn't really matter that much. It's really not worth switching out here. I would like to get a nuzzle off on it, but it's just going to be able to kill us next turn. Okay, I think we're going to have to full restore up the boy Nugs. And then we'll be kind of equipped for this thing. Hopefully. So let's see what happens. Just gonna go for another Shadow Ball. With that Spadef drop, we are not gonna enjoy that too much. Barney goes down. So we kinda just had to sack off Toxicity, uh, which is scary. But now we can decide to, we know Dexter can come in and Sucker Punch, we can live with Thunderbolts. Or I could go into Nugget and hope that Rock Blast kills it. But I think we have to do, we have to do the Dexter thing. Man, this is a scary battle. Does he have three left too? My God. All right, so yeah, two more after this Dragapult. We are gonna go for, if I Dynamax, we could actually knock this thing out. Should I just Dynamax right now? 
Nope, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna Sucker Punch here, because thinking about, I wanna make the most of my three Dynamax turns. So the Sucker Punch does not quite knock this thing out, which is sad. It is able to get off another T-Bolt. Please do not crit me. If I get critted, okay, great, thank you. So, now we can just finish you with another Sucker Punch, and hopefully this happens. Thank the Lord. All right, Dragapult is dead. That is a massive threat out of the way, so now he's got two left. We need Dexter to be healthy for the Charizard, I think. Or actually, Nugget would probably be better, just kidding. Nugget wants to learn Burn Up. What is Burn Up? 130. Inflict massive damage. This user burns itself out. After using this move, no longer be fire type. Yo, that is very interesting. Let's get rid of Tar Shot. I never used Tar Shot. Yo, that's actually, that's really cool. Uh, we're going to kind of rely on Nugget's Rock Blast for the Charizard, though. So let's see, what do you got next for me? Next is a Rillaboom. Oh shit, so he chose the Grookey in the beginning of the game. And now he ends up with the the Rillaboom. He actually brought that thing, that's hilarious. All right, cool. Well, let's go into Shijing on this thing. We can get a nice, uh, pretty hard hitting first impression. Um, and as long as we keep both Dexter and Colossal healthy, I think we should be okay. All right, so in comes a level 64 Rillaboom. My God. But that Charizard probably just has Earthquake for car. Oh my God, this is gonna be, this is not good. Hmm. I'm trying to think about if I could bring in, if I could revive Nelson, bring this thing in, try to get up some Quiver Dances. I don't know what this thing's gonna have for me, but then again, our best hit would just be like the blizzard on the Charizard slot. Nelson might be our savior. I would like, I would love to get Nelson to sweep, but it's probably not the best bet here. Hmm, how can we, if this thing's level 64, what level is his Charizard, bro? This is gonna be, this is gonna be bad. Because it probably has Earthquake that can just knock out Nugget, like, immediately. So I'm trying to think about how we can beat this Zard. I kind of want to try to get some Quiver Dances up with Nelson. So, you know what? Let's just, let's just try that. This might be a terrible idea, or it could work out for me. I'm going to need a bunch of Quiver Dances to be able to do much to the Charizard. We get neutral. It's going to Endeavor. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we get a free revive there. Um... I kind of just want to scout what this thing is going to go for, to be honest. We can't first impression anymore. Or I could just set up the Swords Dances with Surfetched. But then the Charizard probably has, like, freaking Air Slash for me, so that's a terrible idea. Okay, let's let's switch into Nelson here. Let's just see what this thing wants to go for. If it has anything that can really hurt Nelson, we're going to have a bad time. But I would love to try to just set up some Quiver Dances here. It is going to Endeavor again. So, perfect. This... This thing endeavors, bruh. Does that mean it's Focus Sash Endeavor? We're just gonna go for a Quiver Dance. It's just gonna Endeavor again. <laughs> so, why are you doing this, Leon? What are you doing, buddy? What he's gonna do is literally just have a Focus Sash. So I should have weakened it with Surfetched. Fuck. Is this guy gonna have a Sash on me? All it wants to do is Endeavor. So hold up. We're switching back into Chiding. Hold on, everybody, I got a plan. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. This thing wants to just keep clicking Endeavor, that's totally fine. Um, it's going to Endeavor again. Oh my god, I, seriously? All right. Let's just go for a Brick Break. If this thing does have a Sash, we're about to heck up your plans now, sir. And it's faster too, so that doesn't really work out. What a waste of a Rillaboom. All right, we actually get a crit there with the, with the Brick Break. A critical hit. Ha, pretty good. Challenger. You can't even say my name, bruh. Alright, so now, now we switch back into Nelson. And that crit actually did kind of screw me up a little bit because now his endeavor is going to get me down to however much HP he has. But let's at least see. Now he's going to high horsepower. Okay, that's actually fine. Um, the high horsepower, we take that. Now we can quiver dance. Oof, but he's going to knock off now. Oh my god, that gets us down to red, but we get the Quiver Dance up. 
Why, why aren't you not doing your Endeavor thing anymore, damn it? All right, maybe since he knows it doesn't have the Sash. All right, so we're down to 13. Um, the good news now, we've seen what this thing's working with. Um, so we've seen High Horsepower, Knock Off, Endeavor. What is his last, I'm assuming his last slot's probably just a Grass move. Knock Off won't be able to do as much damage. Now it's gonna Drum Beating. Okay, we've not seen that move before. Um, so we resist that. Elson is able to take that kind of nicely. <laughs> We're gonna quiver dance again. What if Nelson becomes the MVP of the champ match? He's not gonna be able to beat the Charizard, but at least we'll, we're gonna try. Please do not crit me, you're just gonna ruin my entire plans. I'm beating again, Nelson is able to take that. And now we need to full restore again. I would like to get up one more quiver dance. It kind of comes down to abusing full restores. I'm sure a lot of you guys in your first <laughs> first uh, battle against Leon had to, had to do the same. Now he's going to high horsepower. So nice, we avoided it, which is amazing. Um, I'm even going to Quiver Dance one last time here. And then we'll be able to... Dynamax against the Charizard, which would be great. I mean, what if he doesn't even have the Charizard at the end? <laughs> That would be hilarious. Okay, so the drum beating, we're able to stay above half. Would have been great to finish that matchup. Not having to worry about that, but let's just go for the bug buzz here. And, uh, yeah, so that, I, th I think we'll be okay. We're gonna bug buzz. Um, if it comes down to it, Inteleon might have to save us. But the bug buzz is gonna kill the Rillaboom, and we are down to just one, ladies and gents. It is Nelson versus the world. <laughs> you got this, Nels. But it probably wasn't even focused at, but why would he be using Endeavor? Alright, so last but not least is the Charizard. So we have a Pokemon that is four times weak to Zard. Which is just like the most outlandish, the worst strategy we could possibly be doing here. It's level 65. Um, so he's definitely going to Dynamax here, which we are as well. So we got them Quiver Dances up. We want to make sure we use the Blizzard slot. Let's just, I guess, see what happens. Going for the Max Hailstorm. Uh, we're going to get big on him first. I don't think we've actually ever even Dynamaxed our, our buddy Nelson here. But the time has come. Now is your time to shine, Nels. You've got this. Oh, yeah. Tell him. So if this thing breathes on me with a fire move, we're pretty much hecked. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time. So... This is our first time seeing Gigantamax Charizard. This is actually pretty lit. And that is a very large boy. I actually really like the design of this thing. Super cool. All right, level 65 Dynamax Char or Gigantamax Charizard. You're definitely gonna be able to take this attack, but at least I think being able to whittle you down is gonna be helpful. So we go for the Max Hailstorm. And we'll see how much... Oh yeah, that's dead as hell. Absolutely destroyed the Charizard with Nelson. And our buddy Nels has become the MVP. Those quiver dances were allow allowed us to uh, hit extremely hard. So I guess my plan kind of worked out. Not even bad. I'm just happy we were able to do something with Nelson. So I was going to be disappointed if we just got OK'd a couple of times in this champion battle. So we did it. We were able to beat Leon first try. And oh shit, he pissed. <laughs> he tosses the hat. He is undefeated no more. My time as champion is over. But what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. Get 15 grand for winning. Not even bad. Well, that was pretty intense. My god. So what happens now, though? Hello? Ga game, game's over. Just straight up loud. Okay, nope, we're good. So, he's holding the Ultra Ball in his hand. We got, like, some confetti going on. Hey, look at it. It's my mom and Hop. Hand over the title, buddy. Congratulations, Hayden. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You best believe it. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right? I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Thanks, friend. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. Yes, it's time we're ad we adults started working on improving here and now, the here and now, and the sake of all that's to come. And you, Hayden, what you ought to do now is 
Believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. Look at BD's all pissed off. <laughs> Super cool. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Hayden. Hit me. I'm happy. Yeah, we get some fireworks. Look at that. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Oh, yeah. Really glad we were able to one-shot that Charizard. I was kind of like... I guess it makes sense. And that is going to run us into the credits. So, wow. Interesting little credit scene here. Um, so, here's the plan. We are going to let the credits run through. And, uh, fuck it, boys. We're doing it all tonight. We're going to go ahead and, uh, get started on the post game or kind of whatever else there is left to do, I suppose. We gave the champion these hands. These are actually some pretty cool credits. I'm sad that this is almost over, though, man. It's, this has been a really great experience playing this game for the first time. Anytime a new Pokemon game comes out, I feel like a little kid again, but this is this one, it seems extra special. I, I really like the design. It just is super aesthetically pleasing. I like the graphics. Super cool Pokemon. Look at that. We're all chilling, beating on the drum. It's actually just two different texture cities. This boy is just shredding the drums. All right, so... Uh, we're gonna let the credits run through because it's probably gonna go forever and then we're going to get started on what happens next So yeah, okay, so the credits are finished and it just cuts immediately To whatever's going on here and that was interesting So it showed us a little quick clip and we're back in our room as we usually are <laughs> Once you finish uh, the league so the team is nice and healed The boys have done a great job and it's good to be back home. Yeah Feels nice. Oh the doorbell is a ringing so we've got our next order of business. Hey, look at it, it's you. Magnolia, congratulations, champion here. I've got a little something for you as a celebration. And she gives us a Master Ball, very nice. So the best Pokeball, obviously we just catch everything automatically. Why? You didn't have to come all this way. Thank you for the Master Ball though. After everything Hayden achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are uh, parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Hayden and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has been long, has long been important, an important part of the Galar culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. Too much power. Too much. So young, Hayden. Please, do what you believe is best. Thank you very much. Well then. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching in a Dynamaxing forum. Indeed. Well, we're just going to head out, and I'm assuming we're supposed to go back to the Slumbering Well. That was where we saw that little clip. So we're just going to head right there. And since we have the Master Ball, we should be able to catch Zacian pretty easily. I don't know if I want to save the Master Ball, if I just want to go for it. Probably, I'm most likely just use it, to be honest. But, get out of my way, Squavitz. I don't got time. Oh, uh-oh. It's one of them little blip bugs, though. I actually haven't even caught one of these things yet. Which I probably should do at some point for the Pokedex, but we're on a damn mission right now, blip bugs. I don't have the time. I do have the evolved form of it, though. I got the, um, the Gigantamax form of its fully evolved thingy so I was kind of thinking hop was gonna come with us here maybe he's already here but we shall see cannot see a damn thing I do really like the music in this part though got some Munas a bunch of Galarian Ooh, we got wild uh, wild Butterfree I kind of just wanted to see what what else was in the grass on just the uh, just the random encounters so that's pretty neat out level 45 butterfree ain't got no time for that also need to catch oh my god this corviknight is huge jesus thank you for just shrinking away all right uh we go right which nope just takes us to a fishing spot but what do we have over this way oh there's actually a misty seed boost the specialty okay cool well, that was definitely not the way I was supposed to go, but we got ourselves a new item, so it's fine. Everything, everything is fine. Also, this thing, this is uh, Orbeetle. 
So I do have the, when this thing gigantamaxes, it turns into like a damn UFO. And it's actually pretty sweet. How did I possibly go the wrong way? There was only, there was only two ways to go and they were both dead ends that way. I'm supposed to go left here, that's why. That makes sense. Another ore beetle right there. Do I go left? Oh, there's another Pokeball. Definitely missed all of these the first time, but we'll take it. And then that just loops around, so. Still collecting items. I'm sure I missed a ton of items on my first kind of run through this game. But all is fine. Okay, let's go let's take the left route. I believe this is the way we're supposed to go, yeah. So we've come across the bridge. And we'll see what is going on if, if uh... Zacian is just chilling here. Oh, okay. Nobody here. Well, oh, just kidding. Hop is here. Also, there was a sparkly, and it's gone now. What's up, Hop? Huh, Hayden? What are you doing here in the woods? The truth is, you say you felt like something was calling you here. That's, mate, that's pretty uncanny. Been thinking about, you know, maybe the reason uh, Zacian and Zamazenta choose a place like this to sleep was because no one ever comes here, and it's so quiet all the time. Seems pretty likely to me. Hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I was waiting for that. Honestly, Hayden, never thought you'd manage to beat my brother, the greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeated, undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really? You're amazing, Hayden. Thank you. So amazing, maybe? I don't even realize just how amazing you really... Okay, you can hop off the nuts, hop. It's fine. Hayden, do you think would you be up for one more battle? Ooh, okay. So... And we got another battle with Hop. This is actually probably going to be a little bit of a difficult one, but nothing happens. Serious battle. Let's do it, buddy. This is it. Am I going to have to quiver dance on yo ass too, Hop? So let's see how his team has changed. This should be interesting. Not going to be nearly as difficult as the champion, but he does lead off with that third double, which we've seen so much of. And all right, Dexter. So he got six Pokemon, level 59. So. Really not that bad. We're just going to Hydro Pump it. These things are pretty damn bulky, actually. So we'll see how much this Hydro Pump does. Go ahead and wet your wool. And, yep, that's just going to knock you out. So <laughs> down goes the dub wool. Sorry about that. I've had to kill that thing so many times. Next is a Pincurchin. Uh, so that is the Electric type boy. And we're going to go right into Dumbo for that. Dumbo did not get to do much in the champion battle. You kind of helped out getting a play rough, though. So that's... We appreciate your efforts. But now we can absolutely destroy this little uh, this little spiky fella. So level 58. We're gonna high horsepower you, high elephant power, and you dead. Now that we know you're electric type, you're a whole lot easier to beat. All right. So that's two down. Just Oko and everything. Next is the Cinderace. So we do not want to mess with that. We could just go into let's just go into Nugget. We'll, we'll save Dexter. Just because Nugget wants to stretch out the old rocks. The old coal, I guess. We'll just rock blast this thing. Um, probably does have access to a decent fighting move, now that I think about it. It's level 60, but we should be able to take at least one hit. And we'll see how much a rock blast does. We also got that super cool new move that we haven't been able to use yet. It goes for a double edge, which is going to do nothing. Take a little bit of recoil, which doesn't matter, because this rock blast about to ruin your day, Cinderace. We just got to hit like four times. Just three times, just kidding. Oh my god, we only hit twice. I hate when Rock Blast only hits twice. And he does have a full restore. So Hop has a full restore. Of course he does. Nobody else wants to get full restores though, apparently. Now let's just hit like four times and finish this damn thing off. Can three actually do it? Okay, three is enough. Just kidding. That's a dead Cinderace. That was a waste of a full restore, sir. You just put your Cinderace through some damn pain. Anyway, that thing is dead. Chiding grows to 64. Next is the Snorlax. So we're not gonna go ahead and just go right into Chiding, our new level 64 lad. And we can just brick break that thing. So I like that he actually, I like that he got the Snorlax on his team. We love our boy Tubby around here. Level 58, fat boy. Catch this brick break. It should just Oko you, yep. Do get a critical hit because Farfetch'd only gets crits. And, uh, you're not nearly as good as your brother yet, Hop. You got still a little bit of training to do. Okay, next is the Corviknight. We definitely want to switch on that thing. We'll go into Barney. At least we're able to use everything here. My team... A lot of people are saying that my team isn't the best in terms of just kind of, like, what mons are available. But I, I like these boys. I'm, I've bonded with this team, okay? 
All right, so here's the equipment I have, 59. How many do you have left? How many of we, is this the last thing? He has two mons left, all right. Well, we're just gonna overdrive the shit out of you. And that's likely gonna kill you. Yep, that's a dead Corviknight, and he just has one left. What is his, what could his last mon be? Barney grows to 64. Last but not least is a Cramorant. Oh, we've seen the Cramorant before. Okay, so we're just gonna stay in with Toxtricity. We should be all right here. Level 58, I don't think we're able to even Dynamax here. We are not. Not because we're not in like a big old stadium. He's actually gonna dive, which is annoying because now this is just gonna delay your death, sir. Let's click overdrive again as we are slower. He does connect with the dive and he comes up with either a fish or a Pikachu. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen this thing come up with Pikachus before on just pictures of it, but how the hell does that happen? I don't know. But he does throw the damn fish at me as he dies. <laughs> well, that's gonna be a dead Cramorant, so that's an interesting Pokemon. I should, I should use one of those in competitive battles. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of you, Hop. Get fucked, buddy. Just defeating his whole family in one episode. Didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. It's 7,200 for winning. Thank you very much. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. So, Sonya shows up. Aiden, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you very much. Taking it all in stride is like it's your due, eh? You cheeky thing. <laughs> what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. Ooh, in fact, I'm a professor now. Nice, I mean, I guess we did see her get the lab coat, right? I got the two of you to thank for that. It's just along for the ride of your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Gala region. Came to care for Pokemon even more than I had ever had before. And here, it's a book I wrote. Even signed it makes it a collector's item. <laughs> it's a copy of Sonia's book. Can we actually read it? Interesting. I already got my own copy lined up to buy it the day it came out. Oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand blessing to put out to put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things and lovely of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? I expect so. Sonia and Hayden, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? That's it, isn't it? You were putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? It's not what he was planning on doing. <laughs> you forgot entirely, didn't you? Uh, you think the two of you besties, you are besties with Zacian and Zemazenta or something? Kinda. Must be it, Hayden. Why well, you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zacian and Zemazenta again someday. I'm assuming they're gonna come up as we put them here. I hope at least. We, will, we shall return the rusted sword. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. Oh yeah. You and Hop return the rusted sword and rusted shield. All right, that about settles that. Hayden, why don't you and I head back? Now, what are you gonna do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I wanna do a little more research here in the forest. My power spot detector's going off. What? The hell? Oh my God, it's these people. <laughs> Who designed these fucking people? They probably, like, oh my god. Somebody at Game Freak designed these people with, like, a whiteboard marker. And then they were just like, let's do it. They're just, like, in a meeting. They're like, hold on. The guys are gonna have a sword and shield hair. Why, yes, of course. Read it from the cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. There are no lies printed in that book. It's just plain rude. I am Swordward. <laughs> oh my god, I'm Shieldbert. Shieldbert. Why do you exist? What the hell? We're the new kings of Zout of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. What the fuck? More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm wondering as well. Could these things be here? Be, be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Just gonna come in and take the freaking sword and shield? What the hell is this? Don't go nicking those, we just return them. Do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? There's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, uh, can't prove it, there's really imp they're really important to Zacian and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebe. <laughs> and it's so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We celebrity, we're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What? What does that even mean? 
I, the Magnificent Sworder, Swordward, am your opponent. Oh my god, we got a battle Swordward. Look at this clown's head. What the fuck is going on here? This looks like a fever dream. I have, he's gonna lead off with a Surf Fetch. So he's got four Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, Dexter. What, uh... Level 60. Okay, we're just gonna go for a Hydro Pump here. And hopefully hit it. Yes, we do. So it's fitting that he's got the, the Surf Fetched. It does die to a Hydro Pump, though, because Inteleon is OP as hell. And that's one down. Nelson grows a level. Nice. Alright, what's next? Next is a Bisharp. Alright, so for that, we'll just go into... Um, let's actually go into our own Surf Fetch. Let's show you what a Surf Fetched is all about. Sir. Get it? Look at his hair. Look at his hair just flapping in the wind over there. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, level 60 Bisharp. Uh, we're going to just brick break you. And we all faster, so that's gonna kill ya. Sorry about that. Bisharp or Bisharp. Critical hits every damn time, boys. Down ye go. Next is the Dewblade. Alright, so he doesn't have an evolved form, but he does have a Dewblade, which is kind of cool. Um, let's just go into... Actually, we'll go into Nugget. We're going to kill you the same way we just killed an Aegislash. With a couple Flame Charges. Actually, no, just kidding. We can use our, our OP ass fire move. Alright, here's the Dewblade. I wonder what the Shield guy has. We're going to go for Burn Up, just to see what this looks like. Okay, pretty damn epic, and that's going to easily kill the Dewblade. So we do lose our fire type for the turn, which doesn't matter because we're just going to switch out. But that's a pretty legit move. Burned itself out. Okay. Last but not least is a Glycopod. All right. Interesting. Um, you know what? When we lose... Wait, when we lose our... We lose our fire type... What does that make us? Do we just go back to... Do we just go to normal or rock? We're just pure rock now, I guess, actually? That make, makes a lot more sense. Just kidding. All right. Level 60 Glycopod. We're just going to go for a rock blast here. And we are faster. And we missed it. What? So it is able to get off a of liquidation. Damn it. You can't be going and missing rock blast like that, Nugget. All right. One more try. You can do it, buddy. Yeah, we connect this time. All right, shit. We're going to need... Come on, hit five times. Three. Ah, oh, just three. Okay, well, he is now going to be able to finish us with a liquidation. Um, so, Nugget goes down, but at least we lost our... Dude, sometimes losing your fire isn't too bad of an idea. But now we can switch into whatever we want. Let's go into Nelson, because Nelson is freaking amazing. And we shall bug buzz you. Oh, Sucker Punch. Getting that last chance... Damage, huh? Okay. Alright, so Bug Buzz is going to kill the Glycopod with a crit. Which, I assume, did not matter. But we've done it. Do we have to battle the Sword Guy now, or do you only get to battle him in Pokemon Sword version? Great job, Nelson. Oh my god, you scary. Don't ever do that again. How can this be? My, my Pokemon. Get $8,400 for winning. You took back the Rusted Sword. Alright, so we've, we've earned it back. To somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my younger brother was victorious. Oh, Hop. What the fuck, buddy? Sorry, Hayden. I lost to him. Something on your mind, boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Hmm. Older brother. Isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child. Snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of a magnificent mural on our ancestry. Our ancestor so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute. Garish brute? These people are so British. Destroying the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long. It was a shitty mural. You won the one that hid the historical ruins of Zacian? Yes. And hold on a moment. Hayden wasn't the one who destroyed it. This is true. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, stop. Give back that rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Ah, uh, that kid. He's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Hayden. I expected as much. Surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe he had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Poor guy. Anyway, Swordward and Shieldbert. <laughs> Was it? I think I might know something about 
uh, where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over it at the lab in Wedgehurst? Sure, let's do it. I'm not worried about how. Fuck him. All right, let's meet up later. I'll head back to the lab. Okay, so um, we are going to the research lab in Wedgehurst. So let's just fly on over there immediately and see what the hell's going on here. So, do I need to heal up or did they heal me? Did not heal me. So let's let's go get a quick heal, just in case we see them goons again. I can't believe. They made those characters, like what? Alright, thanks for waiting until Leon and the rest of the team. It should be all better now. Thank you very much. We haven't been to we haven't even been to this lab in a long ass time. Was it over on the right? Where? I do not re remember my way around these parts. I feel like it's actually back here. What? Yes, it is. Tis over yonder. Alright, what's happening in here? Hmm. Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hayden, glad you're here. Who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I had to bring on some extra help. Oh, really? I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant was handling things in a proper fashion. She's been really helping to keep things afloat. Really haven't been doing all that much. You're Hayden the Champion, right? I'm really glad to get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Oh, yeah. What are we looking at, Sonia? You remember my power spot detector, right? Detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's high concentration of Galar particles, uh, the reading spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Are those guys freaking Dynamax Pokemon? Follow the readings from the power spot detector, and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Hmm. Sword, Swordward and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? I agree. Let's get back on topic, though. Place power spot detectors all around Galar. It's now their time to shine. These people hoarding wishing stars may have power spot detectors access. Okay. What am I supposed to be looking at here? Oh. There's shit going down in Turfield. But I can't fly there yet? What happens if... Why can't I fly there? Interesting. Well... It's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You can always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so it's not exactly unusual, but these readings are way higher than normal. Can't be Eternatus, you already caught it. Maybe it's something related to the Sword and Shield weirdos. Obviously it is, Sonya, come on now. Doesn't take a damn detective. All right, so we have got our next mission, which is to head to Turfield. Was that the place with the, with the mural? Okay, gonna call a nice little fly-in taxi, and let's get to the freaking bottom of this. Okay, now this is actually where the, um, where the big old thing is on the field, huh? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Honestly, kind of forgot about this place. Hmm. Well... What is going on over here? I guess I could go to like the stadium and see what's going on over there, but I don't think... I thought it would be something over that way. Hmm. Hello? Do you guys know anything about some like... crazy shit going on here? Hello, friends. Hmm. Yeah, so we got Piers and the first guy, Milo. Hello there, champion. So you came. What's going on here? How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match, match with Pierce. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. What? Hmm. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Top. Expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we could, knew we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Hayden. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. 
Then I heard the uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. I lost sight of them in all the rush. Damn it, Hop. The suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for your help against the tough-looking opponents. All right, let's do it. So we're going to head to the pitch and go see what the hell's going on. Are we, do we, are we able to do like a max battle with with these people? End up slowing the rest of you down. Hop is freaking depressed, man. He was a little bit depressed earlier on, and then he got happy again, and now he's depressed. <laughs> but it's all right. Pierce might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. All right, we should get going too. All right, so this is interesting. What's, what the hell's going on in the stadium here? We're about to battle a Pokemon, but what is it? I'm intrigued. All right, so we are doing... Ooh, it's a Serena? Why? Why? What? Okay, random. So, <laughs> uh, we actually just have Dexter, which is like the worst possible thing to have. How Damn it, can I switch? Oh, I can switch, okay. In ordinary battles like this, you're unable to switch out, which is usually not very good, but I thought we were gonna be stuck with Dexter there. All right, so this girl is extra thick. She's huge as hell. So the Cinderace does get off a Pyro Ball, which is really nice. And uh, this boy's got a Flapple over there, that's pretty cool. All right, can Nelson help out here? Max Knuckle, I don't know if this is going to bring up shields like they normally do in raid battles. Max Knuckles is going to absolutely destroy this man's Obstagoon, which is annoying. Does get an attack boost from Max Knuckle as well, but the Flapple is going to Dragon Dance. Okay, alright Flapple, I see you. When the hell did you get a Flapple, Milo? But okay, let's go ahead and hop can Dynamax now. So I missed my Dynamax turn, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Uh, if you don't Dynamax turn one, that just the second person is able to do it. So Hop is going to go ahead and Dynamax it just fine. So Cinderace should be able to knock this thing out with the next attack. Uh, but we will get a Bug Buzz off. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know why it's a Serena, though. It's Max Flare. We're not even going to help out. This Max Flare is just going to destroy it. Okay, it lives. It's fine. It's taking that like a champ. And it also sets up the Sunlight. Flapple's now going to Dragon Pulse. Nelson, we're too slow. We need to get this Bug Buzz off, buddy. Play Rough is going to actually just hit the Flapple, which freaking kills it. So this thing... Is this a Serena for everybody, or is this like a random mod? I have no idea. But our Bug Buzz is going to finally happen, and the Serena's dead. So, Nelson, helping out. That boy dead. Well, girl, can we catch it now? Nope, it's just going to go away. <laughs> Use Revive. Back to normal, friend. Why were you Dynamaxed? Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierce, but there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. It wasn't any trainer anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax, but it seems there is some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Hmm. Did you feel anything unusual, Hayden? Um, I'm gonna say I'm not sure. No, sir. Well, I suppose it's a bit early to start drawing any conclusions. No trainer can be found to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Uh, make sure the turf field gym takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Hayden, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. So we get his rare league card. Ooh, a rare one, huh? All right, then follow me, little Serena. <laughs> Random. Well, a freaking sword word just shows up out of nowhere. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion as expected. Oh, Lord. Ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give the Rust Shield back. Yes, yeah, so they still have the shield. Well, I never. Well, I never. <laughs> it's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Pierce, heck them up. Spectators and staff should be evacuated. Normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Because we have crazy hair. What? Who is this roofing to question us? You're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyles. <laughs> His entire style is complete black and white nonsense. Isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? Seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Now? Alright, next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Oh, so they freaking did it, of course. Just kidding if that wasn't already obvious enough. You despicable champion, we're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. 
More like celebrity bottoms. Oh my god. Also, we're just gonna keep on chasing these dudes around. Calm down, hop. Don't get axed so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. Yep, it's true. It's true. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. I agree. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And they plan to continue doing it. I won't allow it, damn it. Yeah. No time to be hung up on getting back the rusted shield. Hayden Pierce, gotta stop these two. Yes, we sure do. So, I guess we're just gonna exit now and see where the heck they could have gone to. Ah, there you are, Hayden. Things are a right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galar particle count around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting a huge, getting huge Galar particle readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So, what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Explain exactly what happened or exaggerate what happened. We're gonna exaggerate. A Dynamax Pokemon completely destroyed the stadium. Wait, Turfield Stadium's still there. Yeah, we're not clear. Sword and Shield, shield Weirdos did it. Oh, Sonya. Hmm. Hop and Piers. Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spikeman? I'm an ex-gym leader. Can be wherever I want. <laughs> True. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums. Getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. But Spikemouth Gym should be okay, right? Only seeing readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Hayden? Let's head to one of the stadiums. Or do we want to chase after two of the... We're going to chase after them. Even if we want to go after them, we don't know where they went. Leave those short... Sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this Ur Sonia, was it? Should get to the other stadium. So they make us go to the other stadiums. Are we gonna have to battle a Dynamax Pokemon at every stadium? So we're just gonna head right to Moto Stoke. Where uh I'm gonna see what the hell's going on over that way, assuming we're just gonna have to battle another Dynamax thing, and this should be this shall be rather interesting, so. Here we are on Motostoke. We haven't been here in at least a little while. We just have to head straight up this way. And then that's going to take us to the stadium, which is where we need to be. So we take a nice little ride. Broop. <laughs> and let's head on inside. Okay. What's happening, buddy? Champion Hayden and Piers and Hop 2. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remembered me. Of course I do. You two are red hot after all. Never forget seeing you off after you competed your first leg of the gym challenge. Don't think we really got time for a friendly chin wag. Actually, the situation is getting pretty bad over at the stadium. That'd be why we're here. Of course. Brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you by my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. <laughs> Let's begin. Alright, so we got ourselves in another raid battle. I will see what, what this one is. Pretty cool that we're fighting with everybody. Uh, so this time it's a Torkoal. And that's not too bad because we do just have Dexter in front. So we can just Dynamax and Hydro Pump the shit out of this thing. And that should be great. It does have Drought, which is kind of annoying because that's going to weaken our water moves. But we should still be all right to here. This time it's a Torkoal, huh? Well, just Dynamax. We're going to use that one. And you're likely going to be a dead turtle. Just, I mean, not immediately, but a couple of these bad boys. And you'll be dead. Yeet, big ass lizard. I do like how we show our wings off. Not really wings, but they're kind of just like a cape that look like they could be wings. I should have done more with that. Also, did anybody ever think about how when they first introduced us to the new starters, they showed Sobble like turning invisible for a second, and he has nothing to do with that. Why, why did we? Why were we able to do that before? Now, detect. I really wish that we were able to be like part ghost or something like that. Anyway, now we set up the rain, so the the sun is no longer there. Our next one should be able to do more. So he's gonna throat chop. So hey, look at Piers actually being able to get some damage. The scent of scorch is gonna crunch. And it's gonna get off a max quake. So, digs underground. Absolutely destroys both me and the Pokemon. Or whoever it attacked. Doesn't get a the death raise, which is annoying. Kills the Cinderace. And we'll see how much this one does in the rain. Yeet. 
yeet. That is gonna kill the Torkoal, nice and easy, all right. So, this one has been defeated. Do we have to go to a, like, maybe it's just one more stadium that has this? I don't know, I'm waiting for when the legendaries are gonna come up. We know it's gonna happen. Looks like we're able to extinguish things this time. Let this Pokemon rest here at Motostoke Stadium until it gets back its energy. Hayden, should you should have should you have need my help, please do not hesitate to ask. So he's gonna give us his rare league card as well. We're just out here collecting cool ass league cards. Go forward, youths, I wish you well. All right, so he's like, I got shit to take care of, so please leave. And we are done with that one, so that was pretty quick. Dexter handling things nicely. And we're back in Motostoke. So now it's time to head to... Where was, uh... Heading over this way. To Holberry we go. And then maybe this is the last stadium that's been taken over. Where are the shield people, man? Okay, um... Just gonna head right over this way. So this is the water place. So we're gonna assume that it's gonna be a water Pokemon. So that means we're gonna lead off with Barney. And uh, Dynamax Overdrive should help us out quite a bit here. So, here we are. What's the damage, fellas? We got Nessa chilling here. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. You know the situation. Are the staff and spectators all right? Yeah, this, uh, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. Leave us alone. We came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for it. The Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense that I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I feel a lot more confident about it if you all join the battle. All right, yep, we know that we pretty much know the drill at this point. We're all just gonna hop right in. Uh, Toxtricity is gonna do its thing, but it's cool to see at least what the Pokemon is gonna be here. I'm gonna say Wishy Washy, Washy, just to just to guess. Okay, it's a Gyarados. Shit. What if I would have guessed that right? You guys all just would have thought that I had just seen what happens here or something. All right, so Gyarados is great because this thing is four times weak to Electric. Uh, it does have Intimidate, which really does not matter at all. And we can just go ahead and we can just Dynamax and Overdrive, but we have to wait for the Intimidate animation to go on everybody. You're not that scary, Gyarados. You're not that scary. All right. No dozing off, friend. All right, Dynamax. And then we click Overdrive. And let's just see how much this is going to do. It's going to be... It's going to be painful. Get big on him. I don't know if we've ever actually Dynamax Toxtricity. I think we have actually. Just kidding. False alarm. Play the old chest guitar. And... It's actually faster, able to get off a of Max Geyser. That's gonna kinda hurt a little bit. It does land on the Dreadnought, which is fine. It was able to live it, so maybe you can get a rock move off after this. It also sets up the rain, and Hop Cinderace is faster, so it actually goes for an agility. Hop, now's not the time to be going for agilities, bro. Why, why would you do this? I can't believe you've done this, also. Now it's gonna throw chop. Toxicity is so damn slow that we're just, we're getting outsped by everything. Critical hit happened, the Dreadnought even. Jeez, oh, it's, I think his Dreadnought has Swift Swim, but it, it, that means it would probably be fastest. But, all right, we get off a of Max Lightning. Absolutely roast the shit out of that Gyarados. We have a big scrimp tonight, boys. The shrimp is looking delicious. Even though you're not a Mega, you're still shrimp in my eyes. All right, so Gyarados is now dead. It's a shame we're having to come here and just roast all these Pokemon, man. I wish we could catch them, though. Like, what the heck? Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Holberry Stadium until it can fully recover. Hayden, if you ever need my help, just let me know. Give us a league card, and we are done with our current mission. So what now, though? What do now? Beep, beep, beep. Uh-oh, we beeping. We beeping, boys. Hey, Hayden. Hey, your Rotom phone ringing? It sure is. So it's Sonya. We've got trouble. These two weirdos sh uh, have showed up at the Pokemon Lab. Oh shit, they keep rudely demanding a hand over wishing stars. I'm all right for now, but get over here quick. These guys are right creepy. All right, time to go back to the lab. So, maybe we have to battle them one more time? I'm assuming the legendaries are gonna show up and like help us, but maybe they're like owned by those people because they're freaking literally the sword and shield people. I have no idea. Very interested to see how it's gonna play out though. So we are gonna head right on back to Wedgehurst. Hayden to the rescue, boys. We should all win together. Teamwork makes the dream work, but it's fine. We just go by ourselves. I like how at any time you can just 
go do whatever you want to. It's not even an urgent situation. <laughs> Alright. Don't worry, I'm here. Rev up them friars. We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You celebrities, huh? You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. That's right. You can never understand these important wishing, how, how important these wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness. Whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been inconvenienced, older brother. Sonia and the Professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced to you. Hop! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will? You've gone way out of bounds here. I haven't forgot, haven't forgot about getting back the Rusted Shield either. Well, well, well. I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Must I have, must I have you once again taste the flavor of humiliating defeat? <laughs> Don't let these goons put you down. That's right. I like how Piers is helping us out, too. You lost a battle, but don't lose that rock and spirit. Yes, no problem, buddy. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. How... Oh, how they wound me, older brother. They called... So terrible... To be called such terrible things. Indeed. To address, address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot... Will not be forgiven. It's time we brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. Ooh. They got stronger mons, too. Hot damn. Well, now we actually have a double battle with Hop, so this is kind of cool. Interested to see what they decided to bring this time. So, a Bronzong and the Glycopod. We've seen the Glycopod already. But, level 62, so just a little bit stronger. Nothing really even as strong as the champion, so we're going to be okay. Glycopod does first impression the double. Sweet Jesus, no wonder you lost Hop. That thing took damage. But the double edge does a decent amount. You probably should have attacked the Bronzong, but that wouldn't have done much to it. Overdrive is going to kill the Glycopod. Doesn't do much to the Bronzong. But at least we get it to about half. So that big boy is dead. Now this thing's going to extra sensory. Uh oh, that's that's going to hurt. Yep, that does quite a bit. Well, damn. Now he sends out a Dewblade. So it's the same Pokemon. They're just, they're just higher level now. So. I mean, we could switch out, but I think, honestly, I'm just going to overdrive again. It'll do... It'll do a lot to either. We'll just let Barney go down, and that way we can get a free switch into stuff. And the double edge actually puts this thing into killing range, which is great. Thank you very much. So now the overdrive should kill the Bronzong, and it kills the Dewblade, too. Overdrive to toxicity. OP as hell. Needs nerf. So what, do they just have one? Or no, the shield guy has another. Yes, two. Ooh, trying to learn Brave Bird. Ooh, okay, I see you. We're gonna get rid of Swords Dance because I haven't even used it yet. Look at that coverage, so we keep... It's cool that he still kind of keeps his bird roots, even though he's not a flying type. <laughs> still able to Brave Bird. Uh, next is a Phalanx, which is interesting, and then the Bisharp. So we're just gonna Overdrive again. Seems to be working out pretty well for us so far since we're level 65. And the double does get off a double kick on the Bisharp, so if that thing wasn't going to die already, it is definitely going to die now. I love falling, so look at him marching over there. Marching up a storm. Alright, so, yep, kills the Bisharp. Unfortunately, the Phalanx is able to live it. Um, it's a fighting type, though. Let's see what it decides to go for. It's going to close combat? Yeah, it's going to be Hop's double. Sorry about that, Hop. Your double just always seems to take a beat. Go ahead and drop them defenses, which literally do not matter at all. But it's just me and you now, Phalanx. But Hop's going to bring out his Corviknight. Just kidding. Alright. Perfect. The Corviknight should just be able to kill this thing. But he does still have another Pokemon after this. Since that Bronzong lasted longer, he's still got another. So that thing is dead. What do you have at last? So it's kind of cool we're at least able to see what the Shield guy has in terms of the team. Get a Brave Bird. Nothing. And now we have the Kling Clang. Alright, so, level 62 Kling Clang. We're just gonna overdrive again. And. Protect? Really, bruh? Why would you do this, sir? Also, I like how the battlefield is literally just like a white. white ass space. I mean, we're in the laboratory, it's kinda got like the tiles, but. Come on now. We would absolutely be destroying this place. Tries to go for another protect, which is just a dumb decision. Not going to get the double protect. Overdrive doesn't quite knock it out, but this Brave Bird will. Thank you, Hop. Look at the teamwork. 
Would you look at the teamwork? So, that thing is dead. A little bit of recoil does not matter. Dumbo goes to level 64. And we've beaten him yet again. Quite the vexing predicament indeed, older brother. <laughs> Surely this must be some kind of mistake, wouldn't you say? Good $24,000 too, so we're sta we are stacking up the paper, boys. I did it. We won. We really won. The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost. Harumph. You only won because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you Rufians our praise. Two of you teamed up too. Yeah, it wasn't just... Okay. Exactly. Give back the rusted shield and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. Uh, sorry, is this a bad time? Yeah, kind of, intern. Hold on here. My apologies for the intrusion. Those men are dangerous. Be careful. Um, well done. Your infiltration mission was a rounding success, it seems. Have you gathered the wishing star? Oh my god! She was. It was a freaking... She was working for him. Thanks to Master Swordwood and Shieldbert. Buying me so much time. You... Oh my god! Just gives him the wishing stars? What? Stop. Get back this wishing stars. You traitor. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even going to try to say that for you. This moment is so sweet. Don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. <laughs> oh my god, these people are so British. Our battle with you is just a little trick. We'd won before you grabbed a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell. You bitch! Let's beat her up. Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Was everything... Was it all a lie right from the start? There was no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under the control... Of royal lineage once again. Damn, bruh. This should be getting crazy. Well then. I guess we'll see what to do next. Wait, don't just leave without saying anything. But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We were trying to con be considerate, but... Of course, I'd be down on myself. It was my fault I got tricked by a nicket in Wooloo's clothing. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. But that's it, no more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off of, like bandits with all the wishing stars. Be awful if they were used for some evil purpose. There's no time to be feeling down. You got some guts. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adversity, dearie. Certainly, yes. Grant, Dynamaxing draws out the true strength from the, tr from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the Galar particles emitted by the wishing stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That's awful. Indeed, what an awful thing to do to Pokemon. The theft of wishing stars wishing stars was just the start. Things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have, could they have for forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Those weirdos said they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zashian and Zamazenta. Curious what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Did she mean it literally? They didn't look at your town map. Detecting huge reactions at four stadiums now. They certainly get around, don't they? If there's trouble at the stadiums, then Marnie could be in a real bad way. Uh, Spike Myth seems to be okay. There's no power spit stadium there. Yeah, true. Do we really have to go to all of them? No time to be lying about. Pokemon are in trouble. Why are we still here? Let's get right to the left. Okay, wow. I really did not think we would have to go to every single stadium. But, uh, looks like that's the case then. So, let me check out the map here. And we're going to go to Hammerlock first because that's the first one we see. So it's literally going to be the same exact thing going on. Why? Let's put Nelson in front. So we did get healed. Don't have any waste any time with that. But it is time to head in here. I do realize that I could have broken this up into about fucking six episodes. But I figure we might as well just get it all done at once. Someone saw those sword and shield weirdos. They said they got through the door. Ooh. But the door is closed with an electric lock. Opening it might take some time. Okay, so am I not supposed, am I not supposed to go here? All right, Hammerlock apparently is gonna be the last place we're supposed to go. I suppose that. Okay, let's go here, let's go to Balinle. See what is happening here, I love this city. Such a cool place. Really not much other than just a gym though, so we're gonna head in. And we shall see. What Pokemon they've hacked up this time? Oh, it's Beedee. Hmm, you lot. Sup. You're a gym leader now. Yep, Beedee's kind of a big deal. Came all this way just to lend a hand. What an obnoxious gym leader. The gym challenge is shaping up to be some, really something. Elena tricked and used me. From now on, only I decide how I live. 
Oh man, we got a battle. About to battle, BD? Oh, don't always be such in, a, in such a hurry, boy. You aced my quiz, show a little composure. BD has already quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He's giving you the luxury of some extra time. BD's life won't be bound by what other people say any longer. Although I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not too long ago. Now you mention it, I suppose you did. As expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. This has nothing to do with Ms. Opal. Best battles for me. Now don't dilly-dally, I'll battle. Alright. I did not expect to be battling BD again. Jesus. Well. This should be an interesting one. So, it leads off with the Mawile. We have Nelson out here. I'm probably just going to still click Blizzard because that shit's going to hurt. My days have a gym leader. As a gym leader, it made me stronger. I don't know if you knew, but I'm kind of the, you know, I'm kind of the champion now. So, oh, I still accidentally just click Blizzard and avoided it. it did, I forgot that. Yeah, it, you, avoid, you, you resist that. Damn it, gonna fake tears us too. Doesn't matter. Lowers my special defense. What special attacks would Mawile even have? Uh, let's go into let's go into Dumbo. We can high horsepower this thing. Blizzard would have been hacked anyway. So maybe we don't have to mess with the Dynamax Pokemon. Is literally just battling BD here, which is kind of cool. More fake tears. And we can high horsepower. So you just have four Pokemon. Does go first, gets off a crunch. But Dumbo don't care. Alright, let's see that in while. What else you got for me, BD? What more fairies do you have? We need Gardevoir. So we're to stay in. And we can just uh, Iron Head or Heavy Slam. You level 61, so super high levels these days. We are just gonna Heavy Slam because we can. And you get a Future Sight. Oh, that's gonna kill your Gardevoir. Hate to do it to ya. Just, okay, just two left. We could probably just heavy slam everything. These battles are kind of pointless because, I mean, honestly, they're easy to beat, if, especially if you just beat Leon. So it's kind of just like, kind of just extra content. It does have a Galarian Rapidash though, which is pretty sweet. Gets off a Dazzling Gleam. And we can heavy slam, yeah. I do want to use Galarian Rapidash in competitive battles. I kind of hate that thing as a designer, freaking toothpaste, toothpaste horse. He's annoying, but I yeah, guess kind of cool. Next is the Hatterini. We're just going to stay in and continue doing our thing. He might just be the strongest champion in Galarian history. Don't you forget it either, BD. Don't you forget it. Uh, so this is the fully evolved form of this thing. Uh, it does have anticipation. It's level 63. You're kind of you're kind of a threat. We do go first, though. And a heavy slam. Probably just going to destroy you. Yep. Down you go. Not too bad. And a quick little finish up of BD. And our work here is done. I think, at least, right? The granny looking as it. No, no wonder she becomes friends with a freaking granny. <laughs> he becomes friends with, like, literally the oldest person in the game. Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as the champion. It's painful to admit, but I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. But I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of what fairy types can do. We'll get ourselves the rare league card. Thank you. Now then, as a gym leader, I will do my duty and clean the stadium. Great. Now that's what I would call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. What? We also get Opal's League card as well. And they're heading out. So, even after losing his right to participate in the gym challenge, BD found his way, his own way to crash the Champion Cup. I'd say he's a force to be reckoned with. I think I get why he was chosen to be the next gym leader. Might be unbearable at times, or really, most all the time, but he's a fierce trainer. He's really strong. Strong enough that a champion like you recognize it, eh? You're both gonna keep talking, how about I fetch you a nice cup of... <laughs> oh my god. Right, right, I hear you. I won't be outdone by that BD anymore. On to the next one. Alright, cool. On to the next. So the reason those red and blue buffoons could make so many Pokemon Dynamax was because they hoarded up so many wishing stars. Things will probably get even tougher from here. We've still got three more stadiums where the some Dynamax Pokemon's running wild. It's up the tempo. Alright. So three more stadiums where the Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. I can't believe it, man. They, they really drag stuff out in this game. Well, next we're heading to Sir Chester, and I guess we're going to see what the hell's going on over here. Sir Fetched is back home in Sir, Fet Sir Chester. Just kidding. But, 
We're going right to the scene of the action. Because I need to see how this is going to freaking end. Still got so much time now. Alright, what's up, friend? Get to safety, you three. No, Gordy, we're here to save the day, don't worry. What do you think we're talking to, then? We're here to help, not be helped. Actually, didn't realize who I was talking to. Hayden's here, so everyone can relax. Thinking about how to handle the Dynamax Pokemon. With all of you here, we can each take one of them on. Or we can each take them on. Did he say one of them? I think we should be okay. We're just going to team up on one, right? Okay. So here we have, ooh, a Gigalith. Oh, which is kind of cool. So, with Nelson in front, it's really not the best. We're absolutely just going to get destroyed by a rock move, but... We might as well just go for a blizzard first, or do I just switch? Fuck it, we're just going to Dynamax and Max Hailstorm this thing. Why not? Am I right? Am I right? Nelson going to get huge on him, because that's what Nelson does. The quicker we defeat this damn Gigalith, the quicker we can get started. Doing what else we need to do. Where are the legendaries? We need them to show up. Okay, so we do go first. We get the Max Hailstorm off. Which should definitely hurt. Nelson's a beast. Does over half, which is nice. This next one will easily kill, unless they, unless they help us out here. Oh wait, no, we're doing we're doing this on our own. Just kidding. I thought he did say there's multiple of these damn things. Oh Jesus, max darkness hurts. But thank you so much for not using a rock move. We're four times weak to that. We absolutely would have died had you just gone for a rock move. But uh, the hail does a little bit of damage there, and this next max hail storm is going to do it. I literally just now realized that we're fighting this thing by ourselves. All right, down goes the Gigalith. Do I get to actually catch this one since I did it myself? I doubt it. No, sir. Well, that's fine. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? Just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. Expected nothing less from you, Hayden. You seem like quite the reliable trainer, too, Hop. I do? <laughs> Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, got a grim grin wider than a Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Piz. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled, so there's no need for you to worry. Hayden, it's hardly a reward for what you've done for me, but please take a copy of my League card. So we're just out here basically doing this to collect freaking League cards, man. We are extreme collectors. Yes, we are. Okay. So now that that's done with, we have, what, two more? We've gotta help all the other places where the Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two Pokemon stadiums left to check. My god. At least it goes by relatively quickly. It's not too hard to kill these things, so let's see where we're supposed to go next. We are going to... Stow on side. So you can do these in literally any order you want. Does not matter. Alright, stow on side. Just gonna head right up to the old fighting gym, and we will lead with... Um... Really don't have much... Don't have much, but let's just leave Nelson in front. Thing's a beast. We'll let him handle it. G Max, Max Hailstorms. Not, not G Max, just kidding. But they're great. Alright, what's up, Bay? Time to lend us a hand. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Kinda wish that we had like different challenges. I guess we had to we had to, we did have to have to battle BD at one of them, but for the most part. We just run in here, we mash A, and it is time to see what kind of G-Max Pokemon we got here. So this would be kind of, I guess, more cool if you didn't have the ability to battle Dynamax Pokemon in the wild area. Ooh, it's a Conk Helder. Okay. So this thing's kind of scary. Um, freaking evil clown. We're just going to go ahead and Dynamax here. We're just going to keep on doing the same thing. It should do over half. It's probably just going to be a nice, easy two-hit KO. Just saying, these things don't bring up the shields. Also, we only have two of those left. So Nelson, we probably should have healed you, but... I think two's all we need. Conkel is pretty damn bulky though, so. We'll see actually if this is gonna be a two KO. The biggest moth in all of the land. Get big on him. Your fighting moves are gonna be neutral, so they'll hurt a little bit. Your max knuckle will actually actually probably hurt quite a bit. Alright, so the hailstorm is actually gonna do over half, so. Perfect. We only need to use Uno Mas. 
And, oh, it has max rock fell. Okay, that's definitely going to kill us because Nelson cannot take rock moves. So that's unfortunate. Like, why do you have a rock move and the Gigalith didn't use a rock move? What the hell? It sets up the sandstorm, though. Uh, which does kind of suck, and now we have to figure out what to kill it to. Um, it's probably going to be going to take like two more hits to kill this damn thing. Does get hurt by his own sandstorm, so that kind of helps us. Let's just go into Barney. I think we have the highest amount of damage here. We don't have anything else that's super. We don't have anything that's super effective against this, do we? So we're just going to bring in the old barn, and we will overdrive you. Thing might even be able to just kill us though but nope overdrive is gonna just knock it out so down goes the conk and we've done it so there's just one left to do can't thank you all enough i'll keep them safe here in my stadium of course all right so then we get a league card basically the same exact thing everywhere we go <laughs> interesting protect the peace yep all righty so she heads out her barefoot ass all right so, what now, fellas? Looks like most of the stadiums have got this Dynamax problem sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Hayden. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. One last stadium, boys. One last one. Okay, which one is it, though? It is going to be... Oh, yeah, it's the Hammerlock, obviously. Uh, duh. So, we're going to heal up here, actually, too, because it's going to be a dragon, and I would like to get a Max Hailstorm on it, because Nelson has the ability to do that. So let's heal. And uh, I wonder what it's gonna be this time. I really wish it would let us catch these Pokemon though, because so far they've all been pretty damn cool. Thank you for healing my friends. Time to head back. I think it, like, at least this is the last one, right? Unless there was another on the map that I missed, but I mean, is there, any, is there anything different? Oh my god, he still can't use it. Fuck. I thought this is where we are supposed to go. I just thought saw that this was the most... It's the closest one on the map. Okay, there's still another one that I'm supposed to go to? Where even... Am I, like, missing something? Where is it? There's literally only Hammerlock that has the, has the thing. Um, hello? I'm confused. This is literally the last one that has, like, the thing on the map. But, do I, like, do I go over here? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just supposed to go straight. Uh, I thought we were supposed to just take the lift. I could have actually, I could have done this one in the beginning. I, I just saw Sonya and she turned me back. But I could have just done the dragon one from the beginning. But, glad we got you all here now. All right, let's do it. Leave it to us. Looks like we got ourselves together an unbeatable team. Yeah, I, I could have just gone forward the whole time. I'm stupid. I'm saying things might actually go better this time. We split up our little band, right? Everyone split up so we can each take down one of the Dynamax Pokemon. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing for the past, you know, couple. But time to see what the dragon one is. Shouldn't have too much trouble with Frozmoth. It is... Hey, it's a Haxorus. Okay, so super beastly dragon. I'm upset that Dragonite isn't in, it isn't in this game. Why did they do my boy Dragonite like that? Like seriously. Okay. Um. So we are just gonna immediately Dynamax here, Max Hailstorm. Can we just knock this thing out in one hit? That would be great. Please, please do it for us, Nelson. I believe in you. The power of Nelson has really been shown in this episode. Massive. Time for your death, Hexorus. Death by Moth. Oh, so it is able to actually go first. It's up a max steel spike. Is that gonna kill me? Oh my god, thank you, Nelson, for living that. Sweet Jesus. It is super effective. What move? Would that have been like Iron Tail or something? But the max Hellstorm happens. And that's just gonna kill it in one hit. Not bad. It is super effective. Deadass Haxorus. These things actually could be trouble. If you lose your Dynamax Pokemon early, it actually is really powerful. That's been a powerful episode. Alright. 
So that's the very last one. I think. You guys are the greatest. You really got me out of a tough spot here. I think I'd better snap a quick one. Oh my god, this guy's always snapping photos, man. Alright, so we're gonna get your league card, of course. Thank you. I thought I already had all these people's league cards, but apparently not. Alright. Talk about no Dynamaxing with Battling Peers again. Please let me see how this... what, what happens now. So... What's up? Right, I think that that's all the stadium sorted now. We didn't miss any, did we, Hayden? All that's left is to catch the sword and shield weirdos. If we didn't find them quick, they could just start all up all up, up again. That would be <laughs> be annoying. I'm assuming, yeah, now we can just go up on the thing. Hayden, it's me, Sonya. I'm literally right here, Sonya. I, see, I can see you pretty much. Sword and shield weirdos got into Hammerlock Stadium and are headed to the energy plant. The door to the plant's locked, but I think I can get it open. It, 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 didn't we already establish this? Hammerlock Stadium. Get over there quick. We're already at Hammerlock Stadium. The door to the energy plant should be right down the hall. I guess we should get going. Yeah, I guess. So that happens if you do this one first. You know, and then you can just... Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, there's a lift, but it seems you can't use it right now. Wait, what? What am I supposed to... Wait. Okay, now we leave and come back? What? You're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've already got it. Almost got it, I mean. Yamper's gonna come through and help out. Oh. Give it a little zapperoo. Yeah, Yamper. It opened. Should have known. Alright, cool. These two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful. Alright, lads. Two weird guys are probably up ahead. We need to heal up Nelson in case we get into a nice little scrap up there. We'll just use uh, use this max potion. Why not, Nels? Why not? Probably didn't need to do that, but you deserve it. All right. So up the lift we go. Here we have the energy plant. Ooh, it's looking crazy over here. Shit is about to climax. Well, well, well. Who are these goons? Seems like you have a have broken the lock and rescued the stadiums from their perils, as expected of the champion. You followers, give them your praise. And they all clap. You followers? Oh my god. They really are celebrities. What's with these weirdos? They really creep me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you all believe, we did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. Uh oh. What a fool. We've always been revered as resplendent descendants of the real hero. Man, if you were a 10 year old trying to read this shit, you'd be like, what? Hello? It's all because your ruffians had to go and save Galar from Eternatus. Eternatus. <laughs> and that woman went and wrote a whole book about it all. That's right. Ooh, they're pissed off. You should be ashamed. So then you're just like, what? What? You said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just carelessly changed history. What does that mean we, we are? You dare say that our seemed ancestors were liars. Well, I could believe... You two are descendants of a Galar king. That's right. Compared to the things, uh, the way things were to the way they are now. It's obvious that the old history was better. It was right. To suddenly start creating heroes left and right is complete rubbish. You're wrong. What I wrote was the truth. My hypothesis was that Zacian and Zemazenta have been protecting the Galar region since ancient times. Well then, we're at an impasse. Perhaps we should test which truth is most truthy. <laughs> if uh, things are really as you say, then even if we bombarded them with Galar particles, they should remain calm and Stalwarts, dude. Okay, there's all of a sudden, all this sudden Dynamax Pokemon from before were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon that saved us all run amok? Seems you're indeed capable of understanding something. My adorable younger brother is wrapping up the preparations above. You think we'll let you get away with this? So you want to take the lift up? Then you'll have to defeat us. So we have to battle them yet again. They've really dragged this shit on, man. When I started this episode, I was expecting it to be like maybe an hour. But my god, did we really get ourselves into some shenanigans, huh? Alright, so here's Swordwood yet again. And he's still got the four Pokemons, but he leads off with the Surfetched. Alright, Nelson, I don't believe we can Dynamax in here. But that should be okay. Um, we're neutral to fight. Damn, it's level 64, which is kind of scary. Really going up in levels now. We're just going to go for a Blizzard. Luckily, we do connect. That is right, Nelson. Ooh, doesn't quite knock it out. Goes for a Meteor Assault. Whoa! That was...
dope ass move. Okay, this Sir Fetched is a beast. Well, that's able to knock out Nelson. And now. We're just gonna go into Dexter. Damn, this Sir Fetched is a monster. It actually used kind of like a jousting move, too, which is pretty sweet. Well, we're just gonna give you a snipe shot. Should be faster, and it's gonna kill you. So his Pokemon are definitely quite strong. I'm assuming this is the last battle with them. One can only freaking hope. Barney grows to level 66. Next is the Bisharp. So for Bisharp, we're just gonna do the same thing we did last time. We'll bring in Old Chiding. And the Brick Break should be able to knock that thing out. All right, Bisharp, level 64. So man, the levels are scary. Brick Break easily knocks you out. Don't even need the critical hit you four times weak to that boy. Dumbo wants to learn superpower, which is a great fighting move. You do lose, do lose physical attack though, but that might actually not be a bad thing to have around. Now nah, we're not gonna teach it to it. It doesn't really matter. We don't really want the attack drop that comes with superpower. So here's the Dew Blade. So for the Dew Blade, we'll go into Dumbo. Maybe not. Actually, just kidding. We're going into Nugget. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Couple flame charges should do the trick. All right, level 64 D blade. Um, we, I think we can take attacks. Actually, this is burn up. Just kidding. False alarm. We're using burn up here. We are faster. Gonna lose our fire typing here, but that does knock that thing out. So at level 64, you are still not that scary. Burnt myself out, which is fine. Last but not least is the Galisopod. So we're just gonna go right into Barney. We should be able to destroy this thing with an electric move. Why do you have a Galisopod? Why don't we enjoy this a little longer? As he says, and sends out a Pokemon that's just gonna die immediately. <laughs> All right, Overdrive. Does this Oko? Sure does. That's a dead Galisa. And uh, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Sworded, whatever the hell you name. <laughs> Squidward, Swordward tentacles. You and your scary ass defeated eyes. And we get twelve thousand dollars, so we still are stacking up all the monies. And so I am defeated. We've driven them back. Now we can head up to the roof. Oh, uh oh, it's going down. Something's happening, finally. What was that sound? Well, it appears my younger brother was given enough time. Uh-oh. Should we head up? Ooh. It is time to head up and see what is going on. In the lift we go as everybody freaking leaves me. Just gotta go up myself. Ooh. I did it, told the brother. Looks like it came following after the rusted shield. I bombarded it with Galar particles. Oh, no, you can't do that to this thing. We're all gonna be fucked. Zamazenta is in pain. It's all because I let them get away with stealing the rusted shield. Expose your true barbaric, brutish nature and reveal to us exactly who the false kings are. Ooh, okay, knocks him down. That could have been worse. Eep, ah, younger brother, don't attack me. Go into town and sow as much destruction as you can. Grr, trying to suppress and calm itself, but it can't control all the power. Zamazenta, I was hoping we could just calm it down like we did with the others, but our opponent is a legendary Pokemon. If you're thinking about catching it, think again. Hate to admit it, but if anyone can stop it, it's got to be you, Hayden. I'll keep everyone else safe down here, so you don't have to worry about a thing. You just focus on calming down, Zamazenta. It's coming, Hayden. Oh, Lord, it's coming. Damn, we gotta battle the legendary right now? But... So we're not gonna be able to catch this one, right? So, Dauntless Shield gives it the defense gives it a defense boost right from the start. This thing is level 70, and can I just huck my master ball at you? I'm only able to catch Zacian, I'm pretty sure. Just gonna go for an overdrive, I suppose. Goes for a play rough. Uh, so these things are fairy and steel type, right? A couple overdrives are gonna be able to do the trick. We get a critical hit there too. 
Not even bad. Music is funky as hell, play rough. Looks like we had the correct Pokemon in front then, because Barney is able to eat them up. And one more overdrive. He is going to do it. Um, so that was easy. I would have tried to throw a Pokeball, but there's no way they'll let me catch this thing. I probably should have just tried. I didn't want to waste a turn, though. <laughs> Namazenta, are you alright? He's like, yeah, I'm good, bruh. I'm good. Does not looking very fainted. Hop, watch out. Oh, shit. Look out, buddy. Oh. Oh. What happened? Yes. Zacian is here. Aru. What you all talking about? Thanks for saving me, Zacian. He says, yeah, no problem. Oh, my God. That animation of that turn was fucking awful. What was that? Looks like it still can't control all that power. I don't like this hate, not one bit. Going after Zam Zamazenta. So there's this, the rusty shield. And this belongs to Zamazenta, not you. Fuck you, Shieldbert. Took back the rusted shield, finally. And he's off. So, do you want to be my friend? Please, don't hurt my younger brother. I'm just going to say his name. Hello there. Stares into your eyes. Oh, Jesus. So this is pretty hype. Do you want to battle me, friend? As expected of the champion, you took complete control of the situation. Plus, it looks like that Pokemon is waiting for you. Oh, yeah. So... We are about to have ourselves a chance to catch this thing. I'm just going to save just in case, but I mean, I might as well just tuck an Ultra Ball at this thing, or Master Ball, right? Why did your ear get cut off? Gives you a calm look. Ready the rusted sword to catch Zation? Sure. Lord. And we get into a battle with this thing. So, now he has his sword out, and he looking pissed off. But are you just going to like let me catch you? Nope, we still got to battle it. But, check this out. I'm just going to use my Master Ball. It has an intense look in its eyes. So is, there's the Intrepid Sword, which makes this thing much better. It gets an attack boost from the start. This thing is OP as hell. Well, let's just go ahead and give you a Master Ball. And I don't really feel like throwing Ultras at you. So, we're just going to use my Master Ball now. I know that's a little bit anticlimactic, but you know what? We're doing it anyway. And you are mine. So, Zacian has been caught. And uh, finally, we got ourselves the legendary dog boy. Barney goes to 67. Super high level at this point. Sweet Jesus. All right. Let's look at the old dex entry. Known as legendary hero, this Pokemon absorbs metal particles, transforming them into a weapon it uses to battle. So it's actually just pure fairy type. Just kidding. Uh, we are going to actually add this thing to our party. And let's swap you with Nugget. Nugget has a hard stone. We're just going to send it to a box as is. All right. Well then, you are mine. What the hell did I just pick up? Wow, brilliant. Seems you've been recognized by real royalty. Thanks, Sonia. Ah, what a sublime battle. You were so preoccupied with fussing over who the new king was. How terribly uncouth like What? Hey, you spiky head. Uh, why should I go expecting those two to start learning some manners now? My older brother and I... Will atone for our crimes, please escort us to the appropriate place. <laughs> They're just like, ah, we confess. If you really want to atone, what's with that posh superior attitude? Ah, whatever. I think I understand why you became the champion. But please, don't go calling me anymore. Seems like I'm only getting called out when you're in some sticky situation. <laughs> we get the rare league card from this dude. And have things kind of finally resolved. Now, you're a backstabber. I truly am sorry for deceiving you. Freak you, lady. It really hurt at first, but I've rallied. Thanks to you, I ended up learning quite a bit. That came off a bit more sarcastic than I thought it would. Well, please continue to do your best as a professor. Well then. Righto, we've stopped them from causing any harm. Still, I hope Zamazenta is okay. Get a little beep, beep, boop. Your rhythm phone probably hop, I reckon. Hello, Hayden. I was just, whoa, hey, calm down. Oh, uh-oh. He's in trouble. I suppose you heard that. Got Zamazenta here with me. Are you okay, sir? It's already going crazy, so things have been better. But I'm hanging in there. Could sure use your help though. Would you get over here as quick as you can? I'll be waiting for you in the heart of slumbering welds. 
Sure sounds like he's got his hands full. Guess some things never change. Ooh. Even in its Pokeball, Zacian seems worried about its partner. Should go to the Slumbering Weld and see how Hop and Zemazenta are doing. Well. Time to head to the Slumbering Weld. Um, can we just fly all the way there? We sure can. Nope, we can't. Fuck. I really wish we could just fly all the way there. But now we have a Zacian with us, so I'm excited about that. Let's take a look at this thing, I suppose. What is up? Holding the rusted sword. Sacred sword, swords dance, iron head, and crunch. It is bold by nature. I got me a bold boy. Well then. I guess into the slumbering weld we go. It is apparently not over. I guess we're going to talk to Hop and he's going to be like, Yo, I caught the freaking... Oh, hello. Want me to show you to the center of the woods where Hop is waiting? Yes, thank God we don't have to run all the way there. I really appreciate that. And yo, look at Hop is just chilling here with that boy. Oh my god, it looks scary as fuck. There, there, everything's alright. Grr. <laughs> you don't have to lose control. You can manage this. I know you can. You're the true hero who protected the Gala region after all. Grr. Bark. <laughs> oh my god. Everything's under control. Just see, I knew you could do it, champ. Hop, you look like a- you look a fright. You two made it. Yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm down Zemazenta, so... Rushing in and trying to calm a legendary hero. Head-on was awful reckless. Bark. And just mash day. It does, doesn't it? Though I can tell you, things were looking pretty dire here at first. Coon. Wait, really? You sure about this? What did Zemazenta say? I kind of caught his brother, so... Thinks I'm worthy of it. That'll become, it'll become my Pokemon, I'm sure. That was it, anyway. Wait, seriously? That's totally crazy. So our rival is going to end up with... The counter led the counterpart of the legendary. And that's actually pretty cool. Just hucks a ball from like super close range. It's freaking dangerous, Hop. Caught it in a regular Pokeball too. That's pretty sweet. I got mine in a Master Ball, because I'm lazy. That Pokeball looks huge in your hand, Jesus. Why is that so massive? You two really are something. So I don't quite see anything like that in myself yet. Thanks for your help. I'm starting to. Aiden, I've got a favor to ask. Though I hate to look like a co I'm copying that posh jerk, Beatty. Still, I want another battle against you. Everything started right here. In the slumbering wells. Well, this is essentially the, the climax of the whole game. We get a battle hop one last time in the area we started. So, we're going to lead off with Arzation. And we're going to absolutely destroy him with this thing. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, buddy. It has to be done, though. This will be a proper battle, Hayden. Sure. You sure you're ready for me? I sure am, friend. All right, so one last battle with Hop. Let's get it. So, he's going to lead off with his dub wool. And, uh... I'm sorry, but we're going to have to absolutely destroy you. He's like, holy shit, you caught that thing? Don't hold anything back. Oh, I sure won't, buddy. I sure won't. Level 69 dub wool. Damn, so they pretty much expect you to use this thing. Which is fine. We're just gonna Sacred Sword. We get that attack boost. Level 70 Zacian about to destroy you. Down goes the dub wool. So, one down. Killed that thing so many times. Next is the Cinderace. Hmm... I guess we could switch. Let's let's let uh, let's let Dexter do it. My team's actually kind of a little bit hurt, and I should have healed before even doing this. But I'm pretty confident that with Zacian on our side, we should be okay. Although, what do I have to beat his? Are they both just Fairy type? What type of these freaking things? Okay, so here's the Cinder Ace. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Level 70 is freaking scary. We're just gonna snipe shot you anyway, though. We are still faster. Okay, so actually, with the crown shield, it turns to fighting and steel type. Whereas, Zacian is very fighting? I, 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 I'm confused still. Next is the pink curtain. Okay, for that thing, we can just go right back into Dumbo. So... Let me look up Zacian real quick. Alright. So yeah, with the crowned 
sword would come be, become fairy steel, whereas Zamazenta's fighting steel. Interesting. Level 68 Pincurchin. Why didn't you train up your Pincurchin very much, sir? It's not up with the rest of the squad. It's actually able to live the high horsepower. Hot damn. And it's gonna hit us with a Zing Zap, too. So, freaking ouch. One more is gonna do it, though. See you later, Pincurchin. He's a little Pincushion. I love him. Dumbo goes to 66. Next is the Snorlax, so we're gonna do the. We're gonna go back into Zation for this thing, because why the heck not? What did he switch out to bring his legendary? If he even even has it. Ba -da -da -da. Sounds like some Mario music. All right, level 68 Snorlax. Get that intrepid sword. Which actually makes this thing one of the strongest legendaries, like, ever. Just getting an immediate attack boost is insane. But it's gonna easily kill the Snorlax. Sayonara, Hoppy. And then you just have... The Corviknight. Does he have two left? Okay, for Corviknight, we'll go into Barney. We can just overdrive and kill that thing. da 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 Level 69. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, he saw his two Pokemon left, so he did bring his. He quite obviously brought his Legendary. This thing is going to go first and actually sets up a light screen, which is annoying because it's going to take us a couple overdrives, but unless you have Reflect 2, we'll, we'll be okay. Because we can just Sacred Sword the shit out of your uh, Zamazenta, so. Uno Mouse Overdrive, unless you have something that can kill me. Drill Pack, we should be able to live. Nice and easy. Knocks us down to 64, and you are dead. No more Culver Knight for you. And finally, the time has come to fight against the Zamazenta. So, we're going to switch. We are going to bring in its... It's too bad we're making these things fight, though. I think they were kind of homies, and then we just turn them against each other. Which is, like, a little bit messed up, but, you know, whatever. So here we have the Zation. I'm obviously be gonna I'm gonna be the victor here. Oh, I was just mashing A. <laughs> right then, laugh or cry all you want, but this is it. This is the last story battle. It's the legendaries versus each other. Nice. We get the item trapped sword. This thing gets a defense boost. So it kind of cancels out our attack boost, but that's totally fine. Because we're just going to go for a nice little super effective, effective Sacred Sword. You actually have the upper hand if you play Sword version, which is kind of cool. Is able to live it. Going to go for a Behemoth Bash. The hell is that? Oh, shit. Oh, God. That's going to hurt. Alright, it does less than half. We're good. <laughs> behemoth Bash, huh? Well, one last Sacred Sword is going to do it. We have defeated Hop. So many times. I think he's learned his lesson finally, though. Alrighty then. We're hopping up and down. We're stoked. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm kind of the champion, though. Thanks to you and Lee, I'll keep on getting stronger. I know it. Get ourselves a bunch of money. What a beautiful scene, though. This is our greatest champion for you. That's our greatest champion for you, Hayden. Really strong. Getting beat this time felt a bit different. I may have lost, but I feel great. You know what, Hayden? I think I found a dream of my own. I want to be someone who can help out Pokemon that are in trouble, wherever they are. I think I want to become a Pokemon professor. Started thinking I might when we were going around all the stadiums to help the Pokemon that were running out of control. Don't know enough about Pokemon yet, but I've got no experience for this sort of thing. Gotta study and learn a whole lot. And someday I'll become so the sort of professor that you, Hayden, and, Sonya, and you, Sonya. Well, that sort you would be proud to know gonna take a different path than you and Lee are taking Hayden but I'll still always think of you as my true rival there's nothing I'd like better buddy what a great ending to the game though we'll always be rivals you and me no fair you two are so young and cute I'm tearing up Sonya getting a bit weepy in your old age eh well still young and super energetic say hop fancy becoming my assistant at the lab she's like yeah my last assistant kind of backstabbed me so I mean if you could just take that job that'd be great 
Got all the books and data on Pokemon you could ever want. Since you want to become a professor someday, I'll oversee your studies. Then I definitely want to. Only be sure I can really be any help to you. Of course, mind you, it would be a lot of work. Work's been really piling up since I lost my fi first assistant. So you really think... Okay, yep. So getting giving Hop the job. I'll have my back. Right. Two, Hayden? Sure will. We get Hop's rare league card as well. And, oh, these freaking clowns are watching the whole time. That certainly was a splendid battle. Oh, Lee's here too. Well, well, well now. That really touched my heart. Starboard and Shieldbert and Piers. With Piers and even Lee. What are you lot doing here? No need for the noisemaker, young lady. We've come to meet you with the young master, Hayden. Uh, they didn't get the chance to properly apologize yet. I'm here to keep an eye on them. They did technically descend from the original Ga Kings of Galar, after all. Seems you lot have been up all sorts of things while I was stuck in Rose Tower trying to take care of the mess with the, chair the chairman left behind. You no idea. These two were forcing Pokemon to Dynamax all over the damn place. And for, and for that, we are really, truly sorry. Look after our sorry. Uh, we thought only ourselves, thought of only ourselves and brought harm with innocent tenants in Pokemon. We have truly caused a large amount of trouble. Master Hayden, you helped us even though we did those awful things. You're so worthy of the throne, you could say it's a Dynamax-sized amount of worthiness. I already told you too, Zacian and Zamazenta are really the only real royalty incorrect. We have abdicated the title to him. There are no other rulers but Hayden. So I'm the freaking king now, boys. Now that I look closely, you absolutely do have the air of a celebrity. Fancy that? Grown on them, Hayden. Oh dear, reluctantly, I'm afraid we too must to away our tour to apologize to those we've troubled awaits. Well then, goodbye. Don't go running off on your own. And, er, what? Just so you know, I saw your Pokemon battle against Champion Hayden. You sure have gotten strong. You were so good, I nearly sent out of my Charizard without thinking. Wanted to join in on the fun. <laughs> Seems like you two found your own path to work and walk in life. As your older brother, no, as your rival, you have my full support. I, I do? How precious is that? Hits him with the pose. <laughs> Oh, Leon gave you some pretty high praise. You look like the Meowth's got your tongue, hop. Ah, zip it, Sonny, I do not. Guess we could get going, too. And it's a race to see who gets back home first. Well. And with that, it looks like we have officially completed the game, boys. So that was actually a pretty cool ending. I kind of like how everything came to a climax there. The scenes with the legendaries were super cool. Um... I kind of feel like a lot of it dragged on a little bit. Adventure across the Gala region to find many more Pokemon to battle and catch. So the Battle Tower has opened in Winden as well. And uh, we have officially done it. So that is going to conclude the game and my series. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you're playing along with me. Um, I really appreciate everybody that's kind of been in the series. Liked the videos, left comments and all that. I've had a lot of fun with this one. Honestly, it's probably my favorite experience playing a new Pokemon game in a really long time. And I hope it was for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, I believe this is going to be the last goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the series. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.